iMovie is a registered trademark of Apple. I am in no way affiliated with Apple. In this clip, we're going to be adding motion to our still frame here of the Boston Harbor skyline. Now, if we place our cursor at the beginning of this clip in our project window and hit the space button to play it, you'll notice that the even though it's a still image, the image is slowly zooming out. And the reason for this is, let's go to our project properties here. Go to File, Project Properties, I'll hit Command J, and you can see where it says photo duration. It shows four seconds. That's when, when we brought the black frame in and the skyline still frame. They originally started at four seconds. And it also has initial photo placement. It shows a pull-down menu, and it's, it's set to Ken Burns. Now, Ken Burns was a documentary filmmaker who kind of popularized the use of slow zoom-ins and pullbacks on photos to give them more dramatic uh, appeal. So they've named this effect, it's basically a, a motion effect, and uh, iMovie calls it the Ken Burns effect. And it's set as a default, so anytime you add a photo in, it's going to have this, this zoom effect. But we can adjust the parameters of that. If you go into your, your still frame and you, you see this little crop button, you click on that and look into your viewer window, you see you have two rectangles, a red one, which is kind of grayed out, and a green one. The red represents the image's ending point, and the green the starting point. You can see that the start rectangle is a little bit smaller than the image, and the end rectangle is the full image. That gives you the effect of zooming in. Now, there's a little um, arrow button near the start word here, and that actually will switch places from start and end. So if we switch the place and then actually play back our clip, you can, see, you can see now that instead of zooming back, it zooms in slowly. Okay, let's stop that. Now you can also drag these to adjust the parameters. Let's click this back to the way it was. And let's resize this a little bit. We're going to resize the image and then move it to center it. You can see the arrow in the middle here is showing you the direction of the effect. So if we center it, the arrow will be pretty much centered. And now when we hit play, you can see that it's a much, the zoom starts much closer in on the image. Stop that. Kind of like the original zoom the best. I'm going to make it a little bigger, this rectangle a little bigger. Really center. Now you can, just to give you an example, you can make this very small, and let's put this up in the corner and see what that does. It's going to what this is going to do is you can see the small rectangles it's going to start the zoom in this corner so we're going to, the image is going to start with what we're seeing here uh, filling the full screen and then end with the full frame so let's look at that now this can be really useful if you have photos or stills of people's faces and you want to zoom back from say a smiling face to show the whole scene there's a lot of creative ways you can use this effect um, but for our purposes we're going to just have a slow zoom out because we're probably going to be adding some titles to this. Now we'll get we'll use this effect a little bit more when we get into another section of the video. But for now, let's just look at this. Okay, we have a very nice slow zoom back. And this will work great when if we decide to put titles over this.